still on Sheffield Island. You see in the distance there are ruins, stone ruins, of an old house that once stood there. And this is the history of those ruins. From resort to refuge. That's what it looked like. Built around 1912 by an architect from New York. It was sold in 1930. It was known as the Island Club. It was an airstrip, a golf course, tennis court, and polo ponies. But it closed in 1937 due to the lack of fresh water. Then in 1946, James Rand of the Remington Rand Corporation bought the land. But the mansion burned down. Arson was suspected. Then the property became a portion of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in 1981. Lots of birds.